I had some people ask me what my handbrake settings were and if you don't know what handbrake is this is just a way to get your video files to a smaller so maybe you have a gigabyte file and you want to get it on the internet and maybe have it play on multiple iPhone devices iPads things of that nature this is what you use handbrake for alright so you can Google handbrake and download it to your computer and this is the first thing you do so you grab the source file so whatever video you're trying to convert uh, now there's some big files in here so for example this one let's see this one's one point 1.6 gigabytes so that's a huge file you definitely don't want to try to upload that online it'll take forever and then the very first thing you want to do is you want to make sure you choose a good destination so I choose you know and I name it usually dash converted or dash web and save it somewhere that you know where you're gonna have it at so uh, I name it differently so that I know this is the one that's converted okay and then here's the, what the settings are. Now I like to do, you're going to normally have these settings like this. I like to choose iPad under the devices. So over here on the right, there's going to be a toggle presets button up here. I like to choose iPad as my base settings and then edit it from here. So right here, I'll uncheck large video file and check web optimized. Okay, so that's the first setting that we do. Uh, leave it an MP4. And then right here under video, I choose, I leave everything the same except for right here, average bitrate, change that to 800. I also check this two pass encoding. I check turbo first pass. I really don't know what these mean. I just, that's just what my settings are. Right here I say use advanced options. So we'll be done with that. So this is the first screen. So make a screenshot of that, pause the video, set yours up like this if you'd like. Uh, then the next screen is the audio section. I choose 128 for the bit rate. Okay, that's pretty much all I do there. And then the next section is the advanced section. And I only change two things here. I change this one to four reference frames. And I change this one to two on maximum B frames and this will set your video up for optimized you know video settings and what I like to do now is I like to make a preset so I'll click over here on the plus and I'll name it you know YouTube HD or HD settings online or something like that uh, I like the picture settings to always be 1280 by 720 if that's different for you for some reason and then click add and then that way down here on your presets you'll never have to do these settings again. You basically set them once, and then anytime you click source, you just click over here on the one you want, and it'll change all your settings for you, and you can click on make default if you'd really like, and then this would always just be your settings for all your future videos. So this makes my life a lot easier, and then all I would do from here is click start, All right, and as soon as it's done, it'll have a little encoding bar down here. As soon as it's done, then you just go over to where you saved it, and you'll look for the file, and it's right here. So we named it dash web. And as you can see, it's now 24.4 megabytes versus 1.6 gigabytes. So that's going to upload online way faster. It's going to play on uh, any device. 